Welcome to myiacademy.com. I'm Professor Mahfouz Hussain from Jinnah Medical College, Pakistan. In this lecture, VHB 16.1, we are going to discuss the B scan, which is one of the ophthalmic investigations. Remember, these are the common ophthalmic investigation. Number one is B scan. Number two, we call it OCT. Number three is FFA. Number four is visual field. Number five is corneal topography. And number six is A scan. So first of all, we are going to discuss a B scan or sonography. Now let's make some guess. How to look for a bone fracture? It's a common question. So we normally do X-ray to find out the bone fracture. How to look for a brain hemorrhage or a tumor? We all know we have to do CT scan or MRI. And how do you look for a baby in tummy? We do the ultrasound. The reason we are doing X-ray, CT scan, ultrasound, because we cannot see the object, so we have to find a way. Similarly, in ophthalmology, if the patient has got a cataract or an opaque cornea, then you cannot see the retina. So to see the retina, we use the B scan or the ultrasound waves. And look at that. This is the transducer, the black one, this one. We are putting some gel on it. And we are putting the gel and seeing the picture and you can see the you can see the eye this is the retina and it is attached and in a second and that is the optic nerve you can see the black one this is the optic nerve so you can visualize the back of the eye without actually able or being able to see it so we call it a b scan now look at this opaque cornea and through the opaque cornea, I can see that the retina is detached. So it won't be any good to operate on this patient. We can think of removing the cornea and putting a new cornea in this patient. But because of the retinal detachment there, we are not going to do that. Look at the other patient. This patient has got a cataract. You can see the pupil is white, so we cannot see the retina. So what you do, you do a B scan and you can see there is a lesion, most probably a tumor at the back of the eye. So we cannot promise the patient that the patient will get the vision back after the surgery. So in the B scan or sonography, the source of the investigation is ultrasound waves. The purpose is for looking through the opaque media like cardinal opacity, cataract or vitreous hemorrhage and uses are to find out whether the retina is attached or detached. Look at this picture. The retina is detached in this patient. And we can also find out the presence of vitreous hemorrhage or a tumor or a foreign body. Let's see some examples. In this one, you can see a little swelling over here. This is a retinal hemorrhage. In the second picture, look at the retina the retina is detached it is not attached to the retinal pigment epithelium instead it is detached and we call it retinal detachment in this one the vitreous is not clear look at this picture and this picture the first two pictures the vitreous is black so it is clear here it is white so there's a bleeding in the vitreous and finally in this one there's a little intraocular foreign body in the vitreous cavity. All these patients had unclear medium or there was a media opacity and we were not able to see the patient with a slit lamp. So we used the B scan or ultrasonography to visualize the pathology. And at the end, let's discuss the difference between B scan and OCT. In the B scan, there are ultrasound waves, while in the OCT, there are light waves. In the B scan, a transducer or a black handle detects the lesion, while in the OCT, a spectrometer, which is a specialized device that detects the lesion. B scan has got a 
2D image. OCT has got a 2D and also a 3D image. The main difference is the B scan has a resolution of 150 micron, while the OCT has a very good resolution and can detect lesion up to 5 micron. Another very important difference is low producibility. You cannot produce the same picture again and again, where in an OCT you can reproduce the same picture at exactly the same spot again and again. So it's very good for the follow-up. You can see a lesion growing or shrinking over the time. And the main difference is B scan is possible with the media opacity, while the OCT is not possible with the media opacity. You need a clear media. So that is the difference between the B scan and the OCT. And thanks for being with me. Please do give your feedback. Thank you.